court rules in favor of our petition, anybody on the seat will be taken away from seat, Levi Zokwe. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. It is common knowledge that the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, filed a petition in court challenging Bola Tinubu's victory in the February 25th presidential election. However, speaking to the press, Obi's lawyer, Levi Kuzokwe, made it known that his team is focused on providing their case or proving their case in court. He alleged that it does not matter if anyone is on the seat because if the court rules in favor of their petition, the person will be removed from the seat. You understand what he means? Quoting the exact statement made by Uzokwe, he said, if the court rules in favor of our petition, anybody on the seat will be taken away from the seat. It has happened in Mawal, Malawi and Kenya. These are similar, uh, smaller countries than Nigeria. We are looking forward to look to prove our petition and we believe we are going to prove it because if at the end of the day, as I said before, the court rules that somebody who is there under the law should not be there, of course, the court will remove him. Nigerians, you've all heard it now. The obese lawyer, Levy Uzokwe, made it known that his team is focused in proving their case in court. And he also alleged that it does not matter if anyone is on the seat because if the court rules in favor of their petition, the person will be removed from the seat. He is talking about the president-elect, Bola Metunobu, who has been declared the Nigerian president-elect by the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubo. Yeah, uh, and that is the reason why the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B, and Atiku Abubaka, is in court. They allege that the, uh, uh, the process that brought Bola Metunobu as the president-elect of Nigeria is far from perfect that the election was rigged against them. And for that reason, the court should decide the real winner. They even ask the court to you know, declare them as the winner of the presidential election. Quoting the exact statement made by Uzokwe, he said, if the court rules in favor of our petition, anybody on the seat will be taken away from the seat. It has happened in Malawi. It has happened in Kenya. These are smaller countries than Nigeria. We are looking forward to, to how to prove our petition and we believe we are going to prove it because if at the end of the day, as I said before, the court rules that somebody who is there under the law should not be there, of course, the court will remove him. And Nigerians have reacted. He said, look at, look at him like Tolo Tolo, that is harsh. As he is not eating. This is the same Levy that has been eating. Uh, oh, let me let me just drop this. You know, Nigerians are are really getting to something else. I don't understand that if someone is not supporting your ideology, that does not mean that the person is not making sense in what he's saying. There is no need insulting anybody. If you go check person when even they sort self, the person when they sort, you know, Richard, you understand. So why, why insulting someone because he's proving his point? It's really very wrong doing so. Make your own point and leave, and leave the other person there. Then they talk to people, they think differently. As I they think, not be so you, they think. 
and you cannot force me to think the way you want you are thinking or the way you know you want things to be for you my belief might be different with your own you cannot force me to believe what you believe this is life for you you understand because the insult is getting too much we just have to stop this and all this is being caused by our politicians but we have refused to see the truth that we have made ourselves enemies of ourselves why we are not enemies but these politicians are the one you know causing these old problems we just have to understand what is going on that is the truth even when you feel that peter will be cannot win the election cannot win the case in the court Atiku Abubakar cannot win the case in the court because the ruling party is on top of this. It doesn't matter. And uh, if it will be, cannot be Nigerian president today, that does not mean that it cannot be tomorrow. If Atiku Abubakar cannot be Nigerian president today, that does not mean it cannot be tomorrow. I'm just saying. But the truth remains that we have to do things in the normal way. If INEC actually play their games, well, I don't think Peter will be or Atiku Abubakar should be in the court saying that the, 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 the election was rigged and all that, even when we saw everything that happened. But though you understand, because of tribalism and the religion, we can never say the truth. Even when the, the, the truth is just standing there looking at you, they look you, they look up. You know, go if you talk the truth, which is wrong. We have to correct the wrongs and do the needful. So that the children will learn from that. If we continue like this, the country is going to be is going to be dragging back negatively. Nigeria will not prosper. That is the truth. Not because, but now the truth be that anything when you do when not be the normal way, you know they prosper for the way. If you they prosper like that at the beginning, but you go get difficulties last last. Make a drop out for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not.